How to Thicken Chocolate Ganache When baking cakes, we sometimes cross difficulties while making chocolate ganache. At times, our ganache tends to be too thin and runny for your baked cake. Do not fret because there are certain ways to fix your ganache. Essentially, chocolate ganache is a mixture of chocolate and cream. With this, the ganache's consistency will depend on how you use it. In other words, a chocolate ganache is equal parts of chocolate and cream. You can use any chocolate as long as it is of premium quality. What you will need in making this recipe. Ingredients For truffles and ganache, and also for piping. 8 ounces of bittersweet or semi-sweet chocolate, about 224 grams. Half a cup of heavy cream, about 112 grams. A pinch of salt. For frostings, thick glazing, fillings, and whipped ganache. 8 ounces of bittersweet or semi-sweet chocolate, about 224 grams. 1 cup of heavy cream, about 224 grams. A pinch of kosher salt. For thin glazing, fondue, and light whipped ganache. 8 ounces of bittersweet or semi-sweet chocolate, about 224 grams. 1 and a half cup of heavy cream, about 336 grams. A pinch of kosher salt. Step by step. Step 1. Chop your chocolate into small pieces using your knife and chopping board. Then, make sure to place the chocolate pieces inside a bowl. Step 2. Place your cream inside a saucepan over medium heat. Also, heat your cream until it simmers and almost boiling. In addition to that, you can heat your cream inside the microwave if desired. Step 3. Pour your hot cream into your chopped chocolate. Allow the cream to sit for about 3 minutes. Afterward, add salt to your chocolate mixture if used. Step 4. Whisk in the middle part of your chocolate and cream mixture. Afterward, whisk in small circles in the same direction. Gradually whisk outward, creating bigger circles until your chocolate mixture becomes smooth. Step 5. You can serve the ganache warm for fondue and sipping chocolate. For glaze or piping work, allow the chocolate ganache to cool for about 10 minutes before using. Let your chocolate ganache cool at room temperature for about 4 hours. Likewise, you can do it overnight for the frosting. For the chocolate truffles, place your uncovered chocolate ganache inside the refrigerator until your chocolate ganache becomes solid. With this, please do it for about an hour before scooping and shaping it. Tips and Tricks For the most part, you can store your leftover ganache inside an airtight container. Likewise, you can place it in a bowl. Then, cover the surface of your ganache with plastic cling wrap in the refrigerator. As a result, it will last up to a week. Moreover, your chocolate ganache can harden as it cools. So, reheat your chocolate ganache for about 7 seconds in the microwave to get a thinner consistency. Doing so, melts your ganache properly. When making a chocolate ganache for truffles and filling, the suggested ratio of chocolate and cream is 2 to 1. Adding more chocolate to your ganache will help achieve a thicker chocolate ganache. Also, if you have made a thin and runny chocolate ganache, you may place it inside the refrigerator. Then, warm it up and check the consistency of your chocolate ganache. Plus, if it is still thin, you can add chocolate shavings to thicken it up. However, the 2 to 1 chocolate and cream ratio can also produce an unlikely thick ganache. So if you want your chocolate ganache not too thick and thin, use a 1 and a half ratio of the chocolate. In addition to that, add 1 ratio of whipped cream. Now, suppose you failed to follow the first trick. Consequently, you end up with a runny ganache after cooling it. Whenever this happens, melt your ganache again inside the microwave in 30 second increments. Then, melt some chocolate in a separate bowl. Afterward, whisk it in your runny chocolate ganache. Do so until it becomes smooth, cool, and in the right consistency. If you liked this video don't forget to like and subscribe.